I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Jeff. Let's go to Jeff's iPad. Jeff, come on, I wanna talk to you. This may be the most important advice that I ever share with you in your entire life as a leader. They banished me, never took a seat To a place where the years only still the screams So hot that the land only grows weeds A place filled with demons Here we go. All right, David, give me one question or one thing that you want help with in leadership. Well, I need to do a better job getting referrals and then in turn teaching my uh, teaching our staff how to get referrals as well. So basically you're saying that you want your team to get referrals, but because you don't ask for them yourself, you want to start doing, hey, number one, that's good. I want to tell you something real quick. Here's a lesson. Winners love criticism. Losers hate it, right? The fact that you say, hey, I don't ask for referrals, that means that you're physically showing a hole and you're like, hey, I got this hole. Now listen, do you know how to ask for a referral? Um, do I know how to? Yes. I assuming you do not know the proper way to do so. Okay. Okay, so are you saying when somebody buys something, this is how we ask for a referral? Is that is that what you're saying? When somebody signs up for a sale, we ask them? Right, actually, yes. Okay, all right, tell me what you're saying right now. Um, I explain how our referral program works, and if they, basically, if you know anyone else you, who you know would benefit from a program like this, you know, you send them my way, and for everyone that um, moves forward and gets installed, then we bring you back $500 or whatever the number is. Okay, all right, guys, so number one, I want everybody to write this down. The number one thing that you'll ever do as a leader is communicate. Communication is the key to your life. Listen, every single one of you, the way that you deliver your message, I want to, David, I want to say something to you real quick, and I want to say this to all of you. This, Guys, this may be the most important advice that I ever share with you in your entire life as a leader. The only thing that separates individuals, okay, especially when you're speaking, is the way that you can deliver. Since you guys are the leaders and you guys are the top, you guys gotta be real careful not getting caught in the work, right? And, and, and stop forgetting how to sell, how to influence, how to persuade, how to speak. You guys speak for a living, you're always speaking. David, I want you to listen to yourself for a minute. I want you to listen to your delivery. I want you to listen to the way that you speak. I want you to listen. Does it sound enticing? Does it sound attractive? Does it make me want to move? Listen, hey, you guys all speak every single day. I speak every day. Why do some people speak better than others? You know why? They study, they practice, they learn new words. They're, they're, stu they're, they're leaning into leadership training every day. They're doing the training themselves. guys. I want to tell you the fastest way to lose your team, the fastest way, the fastest way to not inspire people, the fastest way to have people quit, for people to not choose you as their mentor and be recruited by another company and leave. The fastest way to make it happen is for you to get dull. Never let your team outgrow you. I'm going to ask you a question. Every single day that your team meets you, do they, that they see you, do they see you getting better? So David, the greatest compliment you could ever pay me would be giving me a referral. Let me explain what a referral is. A referral is someone who is a family or a friend, someone who you care about, that you know that needs to be taken care of the same way that I took care of you. Now, David, listen, people, I don't need to convince people to save money. They've already made the decision. People have already pre-made this decision that they wanna save money if they can. Would you agree, David? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, can we write down together three people that are friends or family that you would recommend that we know they've already decided to make money, but that they own a home and I could give them an estimate or a quote of how much they could save. Three people. Now, when they do those three people, I would say, now listen, by the way, do you give them monetary money if they refer you to someone? Yes. Okay, say, would you mind doing this? We're gonna go a step further, David, okay? We're gonna say, would you mind me and you, okay, being put in a group text together and say, hey, Sherry, I'm, I'm texting you with David. David just set up my whole solar system on my home. I'm saving money, he's an amazing guy. I told him you're a homeowner as well. I wanted to connect you to to have a conversation. He helped me a lot, and I think you and him need to have a conversation. Hey, can we make a video, David? Watch. Hey, what's going on? It's David. I'm here with Sally. She was telling me about you before I left. She said, hey, I've got a good friend named Sally. She owns a home. You know, she's super sweet. I just saved a bunch of money. I'm sure she'd want to. Also, you know, I want to connect you guys. Just put a name with the face. My name's David. 
I'm going to be reaching out to you. Hope you have a blessed day. I'm here with Sally. She said you're amazing. I'm glad you guys are good friends. I'll see you soon. This is the next level. Listen, guys, I want to tell you this. If you want everyone on your sales team to, to, to go kill it this year, they got to want to be like you. I got one question for all of you. Does your team choose you as their mentor? Guys, can I ask you guys a question real quick? So I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to Jeff. Let's go to Jeff's iPad. Jeff, come on. I want to talk to you. What up, bro? What up, Jeff? All right, Jeff, how many people do you got on your team? Uh, we got about 20, 25. Who's in charge? Who's the leader? David is the head DM. I'm co-DM. Okay, so you're the man. For sure. Okay, all right, all right. Day, day, uh, Jeff, let me ask you a question. You see this right here? Yeah. See this little necklace? Show you something. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. This little necklace right here, I'm going to pull it close. This is Elliot Army. See that? Yeah. This chain is the brotherhood. This chain is the family. This chain is how we roll. Everyone in my company, everyone on my team has one of these. They wear it every day. They shower in it. They never take it off. They remember who they are. They remember the way that I feel about them. They remember the way that I'll go to war with them. This is, this is something that I give to my people. I want to ask you a question. You got these 25 people underneath you. What ties you, what ties you to them? They got something like this. Have you, have you tied something between you to them? Yes or no? No. Okay, there's levels. Everybody write down levels. There's levels to this leadership game. There's amateurs and there's pros. Amateurs say, what's in it for me? How much money can they make me? These people work for me. No, they don't. You work for them. Your goal every single day until you die is to remind them why you're their mentor. That's your job. That's your job. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. You have no idea. Those people could produce 20 times more than they're producing, but they gotta know, man, that you're, that number one, they gotta wanna be you. So here's the leadership game to me, because I say there's levels. People work for a boss for a paycheck. It's very simple. If you're the manager, if you're the boss, if you're the whatever, they're gonna work for you for a paycheck. And once the money stops coming, deuces, bro. Woo woo, I'm out of here. You guys know what I'm talking about. We see it all the time, right? Dude doesn't get a check, check's not right bounce okay or, or they just start being negative they don't push through okay so so jeff your number one goal is not to sell solar dude solar sells itself it's an easy product your number one goal is to get these people to believe in themselves your number one goal is to develop these 25 people to believe that they that they can make this happen and to believe that every day every waking minute that dude, they're on a mission with you to take over the world. And by the way, you help them become better people with their family, better in their fitness, better in their life, better mentally. You, you, you're there when things are hard. And when, by the way, I wanna tell you something. If you really wanna be somebody's mentor, help them through a hard time, don't be there with them when it's easy. Oh yeah. Dude, yeah, but so, so the idea of it is, I need you guys to start thinking outside the box a little bit. Meraki's the company, you're, in charge of him, you're the leader. You represent Meraki's core values, Meraki's standards, Rocky's organizational, you know, um, rules. But dude, you're the one that's directly influencing these people all day long. Guys, every one of you on the call right now, it is not Meraki's job to make sure that your people fall in line. It is your job. That's why you get paid. That's why you get paid overrides. Hey, by the way, I hear people all the time, they say, I don't get paid enough to do all that. <laughs> when you do more than you're paid to do, you get paid more. Yeah. So many people, man, they're just like, I don't get paid enough. I'm like, no shit, because you never do anything extra. You're doing the bare minimum. I want to read this. You guys have all read the book Relentless, right? I know you guys have. But he talks about what a cleaner is. He talks about what a cool, he talks about the different stages. And I read this morning about like the elite, right? When he starts talking about these cleaners. And dude, I'm telling you guys when I say this, your team has to believe that you're the most dangerous individual on planet Earth. Your team has to believe that you're the person that no matter what, Jeff, if they got a flat tire, they're not calling their best friend, they're calling you. But by the way, my shirt says Elliot, okay? 
Everybody know this. My shirt says LA. What is your team called, Jeff? Meraki, Wolfpack. Jeff, Wolfpack. Wolf, did you say Wolfpack? Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's Meraki's the company. The tribe is Wolfpack. Yes, sir. Okay, where's the Wolfpack shirt? We hunt their ass down. Hold on, bro. Where's the Wolfpack shirts? Where's the Wolfpack bracelets? Where's the Wolfpack necklaces? Where's the identity in the Wolfpack? Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Listen, listen, you don't, you can, this is a job or this is a career. This is my career. I'm going to do this till I die. I'm telling you guys how to get your team moving. By the way, listen to me. You're going to spend some money on them. Okay, so there's this book, Relentless. I know you guys have all read it. By the way, listen, I want, you to, I want you to remember something. If you guys believe in God, when you read the Bible, it's what it meant back then, what it means now, and what it means to you. Does that make sense? Guys, when you go read the Bible, do they got to keep rewriting it so it's like super cool, like it's just up to date? No, dude, it's the same thing. It's just you change and it means something different. Every time I read the book Relentless, every freaking time, it's like, dude, I'm like, son of a buck. It's like they rewrote the book when really they didn't change any of the words. I changed and it means something different today. Can I read this to you guys? You want to talk about leadership? If you guys got the book Relentless, go to page 28 later. Just write down 28 and I want you to see what I'm saying. It says coolers can have an amazing game. Closers can have an amazing season. Cleaners can have amazing careers. Guys, there's levels to this game. There's levels. There's levels to bosses. There's levels to leaders. There's, leaders. there's levels to mentors. There's levels to marriages. There's levels to sales. Guys, everything has le levels. So how do you get to the next level? Ready? You max out the current level you're on. So I would say, what? okay, so what, what's the first level we start with? I'm going to ask you one simple question. Does your team know that you care more about them than they care about themselves? I'm going to tell you how to do this, okay? I told you, grab your team, okay? Pull them in the room. By the way, I'm going to give you two things here that are really important to me. By the way, I want to tell you a story about my son real quick. I want to get close to my kid. My wife says, dude, you know how boys are. Anybody got a son? He's 13 years old, dude. I'm free. My two daughters, they love me, man. They know my love language. Me and my two daughters are like this. We're tight. My son, dude, me and him, he's always been my baby boy, but... He, lo he loves his mommy. He's a mommy boy, right? But me and him will do this. You know what I'm saying? Especially as he's going through puberty. He's 13. You know what I'm saying? He'll be back talking. I'm like, dude, I'm not your best friend. I'm your dad. My job is to make you a great man. Okay? So I'm not going to let you lip off to people. Like, you're going to be a good kid. But I want you to understand something. As I'm trying to change my son, I need you guys to hear me out here. My wife said something that really struck me. Dude, every day I learn something. And she goes... You keep telling him what he needs to be interested in, but you're not interested in anything that he's interested in. Do you think it would be better for you, Andy, to beat on him about, you need to go to the gym. You need to freaking be like this. You need to make sure you look at people now when you're talking to them. You need to make sure when you shake someone's hand, it goes like this. You need to make, she's like, do you think that's what you need to do? Or do you need to go sit down with them? Find out what, he, what he's interested in. Let him see that you really truly care. Dude, he's your son. He wants to please you. He wants to be happy. The reason why you do this is because you're always asking him to be interested in what you're interested in and you're never interested in what he's interested in. And that's the facts. I hate video games. I hate them. I hate video games. He plays that damn game, Call of Duty or whatever it is. And I don't like it. So every time I see him, I'm like, there's that stupid game. But I get it. So, so I went and I played... And, I, and by the way, there's nothing against video games and some of you guys play it. I'm just trying to tell you that I went and played a game and I let him teach me. Watch this. I let him teach me for two hours how to play Call of Duty. I spent time with him. He opened up to me. And then literally, he goes to the gym. He starts listening to my advice. Dude, listen, I, I want to tell you guys right now, I'm willing to bet. And I'm going to tell all you guys a secret. I'm willing to bet everyone on your team wants to make you happy as a leader, wants to please you, and wants to do a good job. I'm willing to bet or else they wouldn't wear the Meraki shirts. But the question is, how good of a job is the leader showing interest in them so that they'll totally immerse into the company Meraki? Do me a favor, write down a list of all the people that you have on your team and write what percentage of each one of those people give everything they have to your company. I know right now, like I may look at Selena and Selena gives 100% every day at work. She gives 100% of herself. 
but then I may look at another guy and he only gives 50%. For those people that aren't giving the 100%, those people normally at one point in their life will give 100% to someone. It's just when that person shows up and shows interest in them. This is all a mind game. Everything in the world is a mind game, okay? I need your people, when they're thinking about not working hard today, to think about you and say, I'm not letting you down. Dude, listen, I went over some numbers. We broke every record in our company last month. I went over some numbers and there were two or three people that didn't hit their numbers and they cried. And I said, man, dude, it's all right. And they go, no, dude, I hate letting you down. I hate it. I hate when you tell me I can do something and I can't get there. I just, I, I don't, I, I'll let me down, but I won't let you down. See, I want you to understand the power play here. I just said, I'll let me down, but I won't let you down. When you're their mentor, they will do more for you than they'll do for themselves. That's the way people work. That's why you must be the greatest leader that ever existed. Write down your core values. Write down your standards. Ask yourself, number one, am I living by these core values and standards? Me, myself, am I living by them? Number two, when I speak out my mouth, does the language that comes out of my mouth speak on these core values? Dude, I wanna tell you guys something. How do I know if the core values that you guys have are real? If I asked every one of you, would you all give me the same answer? And if you did, and you could answer it, I don't care if it's on the wall, what I care is, does it show the way you live if I followed you around with the camera? And then number two, do I hear it in your language in every conversation you're having all day long, whether it's with a client or whether it's with your team? Dude, this is the way, this is the way. I'm gonna tell you guys something, listen, by the way, all of you guys, you are not solar salespeople. You guys are freaking football coaches. You guys' job is to pep talk the shit out of your team all day long, 24-7, 365, keep their mind mentally tough, keep them mentally right, making sure they understand this is the greatest opportunity they ever had, taking them back to day one, keeping it fresh, making them stay grateful, telling them that they're powerful. What do you guys do every day? Do you tell your kids they're losers or winners? Do you tell your kids they're winners? How do you tell your team every day? Listen, if you don't tell your team you're winners, someone else is gonna tell them that they're a winner. And by the way, listen, you also have to ask for permission to be direct with your team to give them criticism. Every day, my, my deal and my company is always be learning. Every day, everyone is required to learn. That's, that's all I care about. I don't care if your rub numbers are high or low, you must learn every day. So every day, since one of our core values is always be learning, I have a rule in our company, and it's to be direct with anybody and everybody at any point in time if there's an opportunity to teach them to grow because we're always learning. And we say every day, winners love criticism and losers hate it. Losers look in the mirror and blame it on someone else. Winners go, dude, you know what? I'm not gonna give away the power to change this. I'm gonna freaking own this shit and I'm gonna kill it. So I just wanna tell every single one of you real quick, guys, everybody write down a word discipline. And, and matter of fact, we can end the call on discipline. I wanna tell you something yesterday. Dude, guys, we're learning every day. I, I know this, guys, as I tell you guys this, you already know this, right? Like you guys already know what I'm telling you. You guys already know it's good to go to the gym every morning, right? You guys know that? You guys know it's good to eat clean food every day? You guys know it's good to tuck your kids into bed every night, tell them a bedtime story, say a prayer with them. You guys know this stuff's good, but a lot of times we know what to do, but because we're living in the flesh, we don't do it. We do half of it. Okay, yesterday, does anybody know who Steve Weatherford is? Big NFL football player. Steve Weatherford, super cool dude. A dude that always wears Jesus is King shirt. But you gotta look him up on Instagram. His name's Steve Weatherford. He's a savage. I'm doing a podcast with him. And before the podcast, he goes, Andy, he goes, I want to tell you something, man. He goes, I love your discipline. I love the dis." He goes, number one, I walked into your company. Everybody rolls like you do. I know the standard. I know the discipline. They made me feel amazing. If any of you have ever been in our facility, you'll never forget it, ever. It, it's guaranteed. Just sneak up. Try to come on my property without having my team change your life. They, there's a hundred of us, all the same. But he goes, dude, I love your discipline. He goes, I love your discipline with your wife. I love your discipline with your kids. I love your discipline with social media, how consistent you say. I love your discipline with your message. I love your discipline with your, your, with, with your team. I love, he, he goes through all these things, but he goes, I have a question. And I'm like, oh, I feel like you're gonna challenge me. He goes, I am. Why aren't you disciplined with cussing? Why well, can't you quit cussing? And he goes, I know you're gonna give me an excuse and I know you're gonna justify it. 
because we all can. But he goes, dude, you're the leader, man. He goes, you got to understand something. And this is what I really want to tell you guys right now. He goes, you're the leader. You're the strongest, okay? Everybody else is gonna to wanna to look up to you and they're not gonna be able to do what you can do, which is why you have to set the bar so high that if they can even get close to it, it's just gonna blow everybody away. He goes, bro, you gotta stop cussing. He's like, you gotta stop. And I was like, damn, man. And he goes, I don't want you to think about stop cussing because it's a rule. He goes, you're not, it's not going to be a difference whether you go to heaven or hell because you're cussing. He goes, I know, I know you're good with God. He's like, it's a discipline, dude. And you're so good at all these other disciplines, but you're weak at this one. And I was like, dang, man. Okay. All right. That's it. That's what I need to know. I needed, I needed to know when I was in kindergarten, they, they, they held me back. I was a kid that they told me I got ADHD, BDC, five, seven, one size, all this other stuff and that you need this and you need that. I didn't follow any rules. I couldn't learn in a classroom, but then I get out in the world of sales and everything's easy, okay? And I always wanted to fit in my whole life, but now I realize not fitting in was the greatest thing that ever happened. I'm not good at following rules, so when someone tells me to do something sometimes, until I make it my idea or understand how I can process it, then I won't own it. I'm gonna tell you guys something, okay? All of you right now, if any of you have ever wanted to change anyone's life for real, Everyone on your team is your responsibility. Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you wanna level up in life and business, then one thing you gotta do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor Hostage Tape is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, You've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go to HostageTape.com and use code PASSION for 20% off your order today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. That is your army, that is your tribe, that is whatever the hell you want to call it. That is under the Meraki company, but that is under your direct supervision. The team, the way they work, the way they bleed, the way they hunt, the way they fight, the way they think, the way they run, the way, they're, the way they can handle pressure and hard times, the way that they don't break, the way that they stay loving, the way that they, they train every day, it's all up to you guys, okay? So what little disciplines right now do you have that you're not executing? And by the way, don't do it because I told you to do it on this call. I wanna challenge you, find weaknesses. Some of you guys are mentally tough in some areas and then you're really mentally weak in other areas. Some of you guys are really disciplined in some areas and you're actually lacking massive dip discipline in others. My massive lack of discipline is with cussing. And, I, and I'm quitting, I'm done. Watch this batch of content roll out and I'll never cuss again. I'm done, I'm not gonna do it no more. I don't need to do it, okay? I get it, if somebody drops a brick on my head, I might say, damn, you know, and say something, but I'm not gonna do it. It's a discipline. Right now, I've got food over here, I got meal prep. I bring it every day so I can't accidentally eat anything else. It's, it's easy, I protect myself. Okay guys, these are disciplines. So I was talking to my man about time management a little bit ago and uh, guys, every day that I come in, the first thing that I do is I check on all my people. Okay, I wanna look at them in the eyes, I wanna know what's going on. I just tell them, I say, hey number one, I love you, today's gonna be a great day, today's gonna be a record day. I don't know what you have going on in your life, but I know this, today's gonna be the best day of your life. You're gonna change somebody's life today, you're gonna go out there, you're gonna have a big revenue day, dude, you're gonna freaking be a badass today. Like, life is good. Like, life is good, man. Today's the day, dude. And by the way, I'm so glad to do life with you, okay? You're always on the forefront of my mind, you mean a lot to me. And, that, and guys, let me tell you, and that's the truth. I, I, I wanna give you guys one more little piece. I said I would give you, we'd leave on discipline, but I wanna, I wanna end it on one other thing. So I was dead broke and I had no money. And I thought if I could just get money, if I could just get a badass house, if I could just you know, put a couple million in the bank, if I could just do all this stuff, I could get in good shape, if I could get the right friends, if I could build my social media, if I could do all this, like, like I would be happy, right? Like that, then I would make it because then I would have everything of the world. Well, dude, you know what I learned? 
is that when you're broke and you have nothing, you want everything. And then you think when you get everything, that's going to fill uh, a, 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 a special piece in your heart. But then when you go get everything, you're like, dude, my heart didn't change. It still feels like it's chasing something. You're like, well, how the hell did that happen? I thought one day when I got all this, that finally I was going to feel different. You realize you don't feel different. You know, the only thing that makes you feel different is changing someone else's life. So whether you're broke, whether you're rich, you're not going to feel any different. The only way to feel different is to change someone else's life. So if you guys want to really like have a rich heart, a rich mind, a rich life without any money involved, dude, you guys need to step up and be the greatest leaders that ever existed for your people. And I promise you one day when you die and you go to heaven, you're sitting there, God's going to have a conversation. He's going to open a book and he's going to show you all the people's lives you changed. Okay. Now listen, can we get rich? Can we get in good shape? Can we have the great life we want? Can we get these results? Yeah, we can get all that. But it isn't going to change this. That's what I'm trying to say. The only thing that's going to change that is going to be you raising your standards, becoming a better person, becoming the example for the entire team you lead. Does that make sense, guys? So look, hey, meetings don't have to be long. We get together for this long. I always pray to just say one thing that somebody's like, dude, all right, I'm going to run with that. Um, so anyways, discipline. This call's about discipline. Okay, what is it that you're lacking in? I own mine. I told you it was cussing. I need to kill it. I was dumb. Now I'm going to fix it. Okay, it had to be my idea. Now I understand it. I don't like to be weak and disciplined. I hate that. When somebody to call me undisciplined, I would just want to tear their face off. But they're right, because I am undisciplined and cussing. So I'm not going to do that no more. Because I want to be the example to other people, and I call out other people for a living, so I need to call myself out. Okay, and then also another deal is remember, what you do for other people is a better feeling than even depositing a paycheck into your bank account. It's the best feeling in the world. It's the most fulfilling feeling in the world. And once you guys get good at doing this, uh, crazy thing is all that money and stuff comes. Guys, see this little piece, this dog tag. Maybe you guys can create something to help pull your team together. You may say, Andy, I don't have a lot of money. Doesn't take a lot of money. Crazy thing is when I first started my business, Four years ago, I bought these uh, Etsy bracelets. I bought it, you know, you know, Etsy, the website. I went and bought them. They were copper bracelets. And it says, uh, the devil replied, you can't withstand the storm. And then it said, the warrior replied, I am the storm. I'm sure you guys have seen that. They were these copper bracelets. They were $37 each. And I gave them to every new hire on my team. And I just told them, dude, we are the storm. We are the storm. Nothing can take us down. These bracelets turned everybody's arms green because they were like some freaking crazy metal. But crazy thing is, they wouldn't take them off. They go, Andy, we'll, we'll never take it off. And then I moved up from $37 Etsy bracelets to Breitling watches to, to necklaces to all different kinds of things that I can show. We all wear Elliot on our deal, Wolfpack, Jeff. Wolfpack gear up. Okay, listen, man. Hey, hey, remind them why they're there. Remind them who they're with. Remind them who their family is. Jeff, I'm going to say one last thing and we'll finish this. I know I said one last thing nine times, but I feel like when these things can change everything, maybe, maybe the next one last thing is the one that'll change everything. Maybe, Jeff, maybe these people haven't had a good family and you could be their chosen family. I didn't have a good family growing up, guys. The first person that stepped out in front of me and gave me a family to come into, I gave him everything I had. I gave loyalty to another level. So everything that I talked about, I think you guys see a lot of different little things you can do. Please do me a favor. Losers, they, they learn and then they forget. Or they learn and they don't take action. Winners, guys, write down one thing on a piece of paper right now that you're gonna make happen. I know you had five or six ideas, just one. I'm going to create attachment with my team with something, okay? I'm going to make sure that I start making sure that everybody feels that this is their family. Okay, cool. I'm going to focus on this undisciplined area, and I'm going to make that super disciplined, you know? Or maybe it's, you know what? I'm going to start treating everybody um, like it's a privilege to be a leader, and it is. And I'm going to start making sure that I make sure that their life is different because of me. And uh, I'm going to give them more than anybody else has ever given them. Do that. Whatever it is, all of this stuff will produce more numbers. All this stuff will grow the company. All this stuff will, will re create retention. And all this stuff will kill turnover. So that's it. And plus, you guys will have a great life and you'll make more money this year. 
So appreciate you guys. Much love, man. Have a blessed day. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.